I know this is difficult to absorb. Dr. Weber gave me a full briefing. He explained to me that Trey collapsed shortly after the car accident. Yeah, when he got out, he was fine, and then suddenly he wasn't. That's normal for a person with that type of injury. That's good then, right? Then you can fix him. I know that Trey outwardly looks like he's fine, but internally his condition is catastrophic. Well, people survive catastrophes all the time, Doctor. I'm sorry, but not this time. It's too late. Trey's gone. He's not gone, all right? Will someone please get me Stephen Work? Everyone did everything they could. But in addition to internal bleeding, there was another complication. What? Trey had an aneurysm. Because of the crash? Yes, because of the crash. If it wasn't for the wreck that you caused, Trey would be fine. And we'd be together right now. There's no way to tell if the crash caused the aneurysm to rupture. Though there may have been increased intracranial pressure due to cerebral edema, once the aneurysm ruptured, there was nothing Dr. Weber could do. He's not a brain surgeon. You are, right? And you're the best? Right? So fix my son. I'm sorry. It's too late. Trey's brain dead. So what you're telling me is there's nothing you can do to wake up my kid. There's not a damn thing you can do. Trey's condition is irreversible. No. Because there has to be a cure. There isn't. I am sorry, but there's nothing that I or anyone else can do to see about him. that. No, that's no I don't didn't want any coffee, Sonny. I don't want any air. I don't want any support. What I want is for you, Dr. Drake, to get your ass in there and fix him. And if you can't do it, then you find someone who will. Patrick? Yes. Can I see Trey? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. Michael? Yeah. Keep an eye on your sister. There's something I need to do. Go ahead. What do you want? I was worried about you. Why are you worried about me? I don't have feelings. Only Kate does, remember? Okay, you know what? I was wrong about yeah, that. Why well, you don't have to keep bringing that up. Okay. Listen. I'm doing... So Sonny, can you leave Just me alone? Just give me this. I'm sorry to break no. this up. But I need Connie to come with me. Why? What did she forget to mention? She's under arrest. Under arrest for what? None of your business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some phone calls to make. Hey, Liv? Hey, it's me. It's it's Connie. Do we have to uh, do this now? Sonny, she's wanted for assaulting Star. Abducting her husband. Reckless driving. Vehicular assault. She, she hit a pedestrian. Sonny, this is all stuff she did before she fled police custody. She fled to see her son because he may not make it. Really? Yes. Uh, because if Trey dies because of an accident that Connie caused during an abduction, She's going away for Come fun. on, Dante. What, what be you honest with yourself. What are you talking about? All I can see that Connie has done is left a trail of broken bodies and ruined lives in her wake. She can tell her sad story to a judge okay, for all I that care. can wait. Her son is, is in ICU. He's brain dead. She needs to be with him. So now all of a sudden she gives a damn about him? What if this is all an act? It's that. It was before. It's not now. No, Connie can't go free. But can you just give her a little time? Sonny, just because Johnny's the one who shot on Anthony's tires and caused that accident does wait, not wait, dismiss everything what did you that say? she's done. Johnny confessed? Yeah, we arrested him last night. He admitted to causing the accident that killed the little girl and her you father. You said you did it. You, you, you made Kate believe that you did it, that she held herself responsible. I needed Johnny's help, Sonny. That's how I blackmailed him into marrying me. Uh, this is the woman you want to help? Okay, Kate is innocent, and someday she's going to know she's innocent. Okay, oh, is that the reason why you're stepping up, Sonny, so you can help Kate? No, thanks. I can take care of myself. Sonny, 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 look at me. She doesn't even want your help. Why are you standing Be by her? Because I know what she's going through. I understand it. With Connie, it's not just anger and, and, and games. This thing with Trey, it's hurting her, Dante. <sighs> I'll give her till the end of the day. That is it. And then she has to come in and face the music. I don't care if he's in prison, all right? If this doctor can do it, then get him a day pass. Do it. Where's your son, the detective, go? 
Yes, are the priorities. I don't need your help, Sonny. Dante knows you're in a tough situation. Dante doesn't give a crap about my situation, and I don't care either. Trey is hurting, and it's my fault. I did not hurt Trey on purpose. So what, Sonny? He still got hurt. It was a foggy night and a slick winding road in the middle of winter. I couldn't see where I was going. I shouldn't have even been driving. But I'm saving my own ass, trying to get out of Port Charles no matter who got in my way. No matter who, not even my own son, Trey. You hurt Patrick. It was an aneurysm. It could, you know what, the, the rupture could have been caused by the... No, but it wasn't, Sonny. It was my fault. Come, come. This is... Um, why don't we go outside? Because you need to take... Sonny, him. when Trey was a baby, I left him for dead. And then I forgot about him. I have to step up now. Are you coming? First place she doesn't get his son. What's going on? Patrick, so there's only one thing left to do. What? Since Trey doesn't have a living will. Trey's next of kin has to consent to turning off the ventilator and let him go. Well, I say no. I'm his mother. I've him to die once. I'm not doing it again. 